um, what I like to do is just place it here in a little bit here. Hey my beauties and welcome back to a Makeup Mondays. My name is Tanelle, the beautiful Barkanisa. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. <clears throat> if this is your first time joining me, welcome. I appreciate it. If you are ride or die sister, thanks for tuning back in today. Like I said, it is Makeup Monday and we are talking everything highlight and contour. So if that is something that you're interested in, please stay tuned. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and you guys already know, let's get on to the video. Let's get on to the video. Let's get on, 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 on to the video. Okay, so last Makeup Monday, we tackled everything foundation. This Makeup Monday, we are talking about highlighting and contour. Now, we're going to talk about what is highlighting and contour, what you should use, the tools you should use, how to apply, all that good stuff. It's now that we have our canvas on, our skins are dimensional, so we don't just have a smooth, just even canvas like I have right now. Um, as you can tell, this is just a continuation from the next video. Um, we still have the same eye makeup look and everything our foundation is on but now we're just going to add our highlight and contour so like I stated our face is not one dimensional like this once we put on our foundation we want to go back in and add dimension and dimension comes from highlighting and contour highlighting is um, our skin our face even before we have makeup on has natural highlighting and contour Highlighting is where our natural light or light hits our face. As you can tell, light is hitting my face from the camera. This is area is brighter. Underneath my eyes are brighter and my chin is brighter. These are the areas that light hits on our face. So that's why we highlight this area because of light hit our face. Now when we contour, we're contouring, we're adding dimension to our face. Um, most dark skinned women have a natural contour. This area of our cheek is always a little bit darker. And this area right here is a little bit darker. Uh, contouring also constructs our face. So, um, you know, you can put it along the bridge of your nose to give you that the shape of nose that you want to around your chin area. Um, like me, this area I have a round face. So it kind of like carves or give me more of an angle um, when I contour my chin area. And then people also contour their forehead to minimize the size or just like I said, to bring dimension into your face. When you are highlighting and contour, you're going to be using multiple products. You're going to be using a concealer pretty much for both of them. To highlight, you're using... A concealer and you want to use a, con a concealer shade one to two shades lighter you don't want to do three or four and be just extra bright those days are gone like I stated in the first video we want that more natural glam beauty look um, my favorites um, are the Morphe uh, who else the Kat Von D that's my favorite high-end Morphe is middle range this is um, C C435 is a shade I'm using. Another affordable one is Wet n Wow. And then we also have LA Girl Pro Concealer. Really, really affordable. Like I said, this will always be a cult favorite. Some people have went away with it um, because there are other concealers out there. But I will always stick because it's so affordable and it does a great job. I will stick this. Now for my Highlight, I like to use Toffee. In the, in the previous video, I used Toast, but Toffee is the right shade for me when I am doing this um, highlighting. Same thing for your contour. You want to use some type of um, 
concealer and you want to use a darker shade um like a shade or two darker than your skin tone because like i said we are carving in we are constructing we are um shaping in it and adding dimension and you add dimension by darker shades um my go-to and i really don't even contour anymore but when i do like when i'm doing photo shoots um or it's a special occasion and i know i want to have that look i go in with um my liquids and i use the la girl pro concealer in mahogany that's also a um, contour palette um, this is one of my favorites. This is by uh, Black Radiance. And as you can see, I have, I have hit pan. Um, but they have this darker shade and contour. This is their medium to deep. So those are the products for highlighting and contour. Those days that I just don't want um, to do the liquid step, I just go straight in with the darker shade of the powder. And I um, contour that way. Okay, so let's go with in with, I'm using my Morphe today for my highlights. And highlight, the term highlight is going to get thrown across different areas or uh, mean different areas. When I say highlights, I'm not talking about like the shimmer highlight, which is the same thing because you're allowing light to reflect it with the, the shimmers. That's, and you don't want to be heavy. Um, what I like to do is just place it here in a little bit here. Because we're going to move this product. We're not going to go heavy with it or anything like that. Like I said, light reflects off our forehead right here down the center. Um, and then on our chin. And then sometimes I like to put it right there on my cupid's bow. Um, what we're going to be using is a blender to blend this out. You also have like a um, concealer. And then over here, I'm going to take the damp blender. This also cleans up. Your eyeshadow area right here and this is what we have as you can see the light is reflecting right here the light is reflecting right here is lighter here so we are getting some dimension back into our face now we're going to move on to contour keep getting brain first today like I said I normally don't do liquids um, but I'm going to do liquids on this side so we can see the difference and you can see like right here I'm just going to apply it there and I'm going to apply it here and on my chin area. So I'm going to take my contour brush, which is really, really big, beat up, um, and we're just going to work that in. And as you can see, by contouring, it gave me more of. Um, a face structure lifted up my cheekbones um, I have a round face so um, that's one of the benefits of doing it but you can get the same results without doing the liquid um, concealer and this is the side with the liquid and this one doesn't have anything on it and like I said you can already see like my face has shape to it now on this side we're just going to do the powder so you can see the difference and we're going to place that right here as well I'm using the same brush and I'm just working it in giving my face lifting my cheekbones giving my face some dimension and some construction shape whatever you want to call it 
Same thing with my forehead area. And I don't have a large forehead, so I really just like to put it along my hairline. And then we're going to do the same thing right underneath here on my jawline. And these are the areas that I like to um, contour. Um, some people like to do their nose. I don't like to do it, but before the purpose of this video, I'm going to do it. I like the shape of my nose, so that's why I really don't mess with it that much. And then when I'm highlighting, I can I bring, if you notice, I bring the concealer over here on this side of my nose. And that kind of gives me that, that contour look without having to do it. Let me show you the liquid side first. I'm just going to take it and blend that out as well. As you see, it gave my nose a little bit more definition. I'm just going to do both sides with the liquid. And you want to bring it up into your eye socket and blend downward. So that's what it looks like once my nose is contoured. So now that we have our highlight and our contour on what we want to set it, like I stated in the last video, if you didn't watch it, the general rule is if you have a liquid, set it with a powder. Liquid powder. Set it with the powder. Um, I like to use Black's Opal's um, setting powder in medium for underneath my eyes um, for my contour powder, either this or Maybelline um, in a dark color to set it. And this is Black Opal Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. You also have setting powder, but I'm taking that same wet blender and I'm going to put it in there. And for my women that's on that's 40, 35, 40, we do not we repeat, we do not want to bake. They long are the days of baking, especially if you're a woman of a particular age, because we have fine lines underneath our eyes, and all that all that does is that powder just sits in there and it doesn't do, do us any good. So the wet blender, I take it and I press it under both eyes and I, I get it on the back of my hand so I can always go back and I'm just pressing it in. Notice how I'm going down the side of my nose with the powder and I'm blending it, pressing it in and moving it. Same thing as we, we do with our foundation. Everywhere that we added the highlight, we're going to add the powder. And you always want to work and manipulate your, your sponge. That's why this is a great tool because you can make it smaller and get right into the crevices of the eye. Especially when you're adding the, the concealer underneath here to highlight to really get in there. Turn over the butt side for larger areas. And there you have it. So we're going to do the same thing. Set our contour with the powder. And I'm using the Black Radiance. And I'm just going And with that powder, we're just going to put it everywhere that we put the liquid at. Now we're not going to do this side because this was already has the powder on there. In the last video, when I talked about foundation, I talked about finishing powder, blotting powder for your um, foundation. And now this is when we want to do that step. And I'm using the Amon. This is her blotting powder in medium deep. And I'll just 
press it all where my foundation is at. And I like to go over where the highlight powder is at just so it can look put together in my opinion it just blends better okay so foundation set highlighting contour is set now um, like I said I normally bronze now before um, I don't do any contour I just simply just bronze but if you bronze adds like a sun kiss touch to your face um, more so than a darkness um, so we're going to do that today I'm using Mocha Mommy by Fenty um, and taking this fluffy brush this is GG gorgeous this is their gorgeous contour brush and I just like to sit it right on top of the contour right above it and just bring it like it's been sunk kissed not too much you, a little of this can go a long way and I like to do it on my forehead area and my chin just to give me that bronze look that now we're going to go in with our setting powder I mean setting spray and I'm going to finish underneath my eye, um, under eye makeup, mascara, eyeliner, things like that. And my lipstick and I'll come back. Okay. Well, beauties, that's it. So this is the final look all put together. Your girl threw her wig on. Got um, my gloss and my eyes are finished. This so is what it looks like up close everything done if you guys have any questions about foundation or highlighting the contour please feel free to put them down below in the comment section i will try to answer all of your questions and that completes this makeup <clears throat> this week's makeup monday thanks for tuning in thank you for watching i love you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one peace 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 peace